Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to with paint using a texture. So we can go ahead and insert a plane. Then you want to tap into edit mode. In edit mode, you want to click on it and subdivide. The higher the number of subdivisions, the better the quality of the weight painted texture. And then we can go to the weight paint. If you click on your texture properties, you want to create a new texture. And then we import an image. So the texture I'm going to be importing is this Nike texture. Any texture in black and white can work for this weight paint. So we import that texture. And I want to clip it so that it doesn't repeat. And then with our object selected, we want to add a modifier. And that's the vertex width edit. In edit mode, we select all the faces or vertices. And then create a vertex group and assign it. And back to the modifier tab, we add that vertex group. Let me switch to weight paint mode. Then we'll go under the influence. There we can add the material. Then under the fall off type, we want to change that to random. And then you can see the texture. So in order to get a clearer image, you can adjust the threshold. And like I said, the more the subdivisions, the better the image will look. So if you add the modifier and add the subdivision surface modifier and bring that before the vertex, you see a better quality. And if you increase the level of subdivisions, you get a better outline. So you can apply that. So we have to apply the weight paint first. So let's control Z. Apply. Press invert. You can invert it. Another thing you can do is that you can clean it. You press clean. And we totally clean that area. You can also go ahead and clean off the areas that you don't want the weight to be at. And just clean them off. So there's, that's how you do it. I hope this is helpful to you. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This technique can be used to create very nice effects by adding it with the particle system. There are a lot of use cases for this. So if you want me to make a tutorial on how you can use this to create a cool effect, leave a comment down below and like this video.